Hello and welcome to Global Happenings. Today we have a trending news for you and the headline reads Presidency exhibits his extraordinary powers as Rotimia Mechi helplessly looks on in shock. But before we go into details of further analysis, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below. Beside, beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Okay, let's go straight into the news of the day. A former governor of River State and Minister of Transportation, Chibuike Amechi Rotimi, has said he is unaware of the report. Reported removal of Director General DG of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Nemasa Dakoko Petersad, although no official statement from the government is backing the claims. The RAB reports that Petersad, whose tenure expires in a few days, has been sacked and replaced by Basha Jamo as the new DG of the agency. Jamo is currently the Executive Director of Administration and Finance in Nemasa. Speaking in an interview, uh, yesterday, the Minister of Transportation reacted to the news of the sack, saying he was not aware of it. The former governor said, I am not aware. As of yesterday, when I spoke to DG of Nemasa, he was in the office and they had a board meeting and he was present at the meeting. I'm not aware that he was. He has been removed. I spoke to him at about 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. I should know if he has been sacked. If I am the Minister of Transport, I should know. Maybe we need to call him Peter Side this morning to know whether he is in the office, but the government does not take an arbitrary decision, he said. If he were to be sacked, the Minister of Transportation will be told formally, intimate the DG of a sack, and I'm not aware that the president has directed me to intimate anyone of his sack. His tenure expires on the tenth of the month. When it expires, you can then appoint the president. You can then approach the president to either reappoint him or replace him. The president has the appointing authority. All the minister has by law is the recommendation authority. There are unconfirmed claims that the cocoa sack might be due to the failure of the agency to audit its account for six years. On this, Amechi said, I'm not aware that that could be the reason. He has been DG for only four years because he came into office in 2016 and they cannot be punishing him for the offense committed by previous DGs. I don't think that those are those I don't think those speculations are right. I just think they are mere speculations and we should wait until Tuesday next week when his tenure will officially expire. The president has the right to appoint whoever he wants to appoint and at the same time if he wants to extend his tenure, he will extend his tenure. All right, that's just it. Yeah, you could just imagine the reaction of Rotimia Mechi, one of the right-hand men of uh, the presidency, is deeply shocked because usually, according to him, uh, the presidency was supposed to intimate him uh, on what's going on, if he's going to, because that's actually under his jurisdictions. If eventually he needs to sack uh, Peter Side, he should be in the know and should also intimate him so that he will do uh, do him the honors of um, reporting the same to Peter Side. But obviously, he got to hear about the sack on the social media and not the... Uh, uh, not via the president. In fact, he doubted the information when he saw it on the media. Or not until it was duly confirmed. You can imagine uh, it, you thought you are telling the right books of uh, your boss, quote unquote, your guy at the top, and only for you to realize that he could move someone right under your nose without even intimating you. Uh, well, let's before we go into full analysis, let's hear what Nigerians are generally saying about this and the fact that he seemed to be in shock that uh, the presidency did not tell him that the person under his jurisdiction. He's going to be sacked. Oh, it's already been sacked. You only heard his own in social media. Okay, let's hear what this one is saying. So he said, that's the beginning of your downfall. Remember, Oshie Baba, you too will follow. Oshie here means Oshomole. That's Adams Oshomole. Uh, being the fact that Oshomole has been removed as the national chair. Uh, well, let's still move on. This one here says, the weight went train down rich canoe since... This one says, they wait when, why the train don't reach Canada since idiot. This one says, don't, don't be shocked, though. That's what you get. This one says, it's all right, sir. Very right, sir. This one here says, who has he helped in River State? He's talking about Roti, me, and Mechi. Okay, he's talking about Peter's side as well. This one here says, why must he be shocked? 
he should go and establish maritime university at Dwara to join the transportation university there. Senseless southerners. All this foolishness will end one day. Nothing lasts forever. Mmm, this one is a strong statement indeed. This one here says, Keep deceiving yourself with the thought of being consulted before they remove your man, the cocoa. The jackals and the hyenas who needed you in 2015 and 2019 don't need your support anymore. Bam. Like your brother from South, Southwest, you are now irrelevant as far as the northern political oligarch, oligarchy, oligarchy is concerned. All right. So he said, because you are a slave to the Fulani cabal, they don't need to consult you before they do, do it. Have sense. This one here says, hmm. Ameji Aksosho. That's Aksosho Male, Adam Sosho Male. He knows how to get his tenor restored. When other tenors do not expire, why should your own please Aksosho? He knows how to do it. Be smart now. <laughs> what is he trying to say? Is there something that Sho Male knows that we Nigerians don't know? Time will tell. Let's continue. This one here says, Time will tell, Amechi. Time is running fast. After 2023, it is all over for him. Please, I'm not a prophet, nor, nor a bishop. Oh. This one here says, Please, Buhari, President Buhari and Minister Amechi, they are an intruder in this country. All right. Okay, that's how much you can take on what Nigerians are reacting over what uh, um, uh, Rotimi Amechi have said. Really, it's... um. Kind of embarrassing. Let's let's leave sentiment aside. Let's say the way it is that um, under your jurisdictions, normally procedures demand that um, why you even sack the man? If the man is just gonna his tenure is gonna expire by tenth of March, just a few days. But what, what does what does it take? Or wait it out. But then whatever it is. But let's let, let's look at it critically. If you are sacking someone and you are appointing, does it mean that there are no other southerner? You know, in a country that okay, the whole security chiefs are being manned by a particular um, ethnic city in the country. Now, uh, the financial path of the economy are gradually being replaced by the same ethnicity. Nigerians, you guys should wise up, oh, because the truth of be told, there's this bill that um, a Senator Abaribe was looking into, and he was saying they should look into it. Has actually forgotten past the first reading it is well, looking towards the second reading as we speak and he's talking about reducing the power of the executive particularly the presidency in appointing some service chiefs and other things of the sort that which means that averagely every region should be duly represented what it means he said if even if the regions if even if the ethnicities are so much they can't really be represented but then you look for the next best hand in that region you know to 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 represent them what it also means is that you know things like namasa which is actually more of an economic you know uh, economic uh, agency you know should be manned by you know some sensitive issues sensitive persons you can imagine if the security chiefs are from a particular region a particular not just particular region particular ethnicity and now the economic part of the country is also being manned by the same particular ethnicity it doesn't all go where it speaks volumes and there's no way nigerians will not begin to raise eyebrow over it why would you replace peter cell with a uh, with uh, Jimmo, what what what's so spectacular about you know Jimmo and this appointment has it been has it been uh, you know yes according to uh, executive power that's what we're talking about that's what Senator Barry was talking about the powers on the on, on the hands in the hands of the presidency is enormous it's too much he can make decisions that can wreck the economy he can make decisions that can also boost the economy all depends on who. Is hold who is making that decision? That all depends on the person, the personality making that decision, and that's strong. You know, it, it makes other sectors or other 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 um other arms of government a, a little bit helpless. You know, judging the fact that so to speak, that some of the arms of government are almost like annexes of the executive. So it makes it even difficult to even curtail the excesses of the executive arms. But as it is now, you know, until. The central until power is decentralized in Nigeria, we we'll get to see more of this. It's gonna get worse, you know. If it, well, the Holy Bible will say it needs to get worse to get better, you know. There's this part where they say in general, you know, things 
continue to get worse, finally get better. But I hope that uh, it will be worse and get into a worst level. You know, not just worse, but getting worse. But let's hope that after this stage, we are go- going towards building the nation. But let's say the truth the way it is. Until we decentralize power, where everyone will be duly represented, you know, until there's some sort of regionalism, you know, we got to see more of this. Why would, you know, it takes somebody who is very liberal minded to be able to carry every region, every sector along and give the best hand, you know, to the best people, best position to the best hand, best position to the right people, you know, putting square pegs and round hole. What do you expect? It won't fit, you know, it, it won't, they won't function well. And that's why it looks as if each, each time we're, you know, going to recession or with insecurity issues here and there because there are square pegs and round holes. We are not having the best hands in those positions. We we, we look at ethnicity. Ethnicity plays a lot of goals here. Uh, we, we divide our, our politics and part- we play partisan politics and we are divided in uh, religious lines. And that's why it looks as if even though Nigeria have over 200 million people, we've got some best brains in this country, have some best hands in this country, but yet you know, it looks as if we are so backward and so retrogressed based and what we have, you know, functioning in the country. I feel that, um, you know, if we decentralize power, let the best hands have the equal opportunity to have uh, to, to rule, not just ruling the country, or to function in particular sectors of the country. You'll be amazed how rapid Nigerian economy will grow. We are blessed with human resources. We are blessed with um, 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 we are blessed with the natural resources. We have gold. We have mineral. We have we have human resources. We don't have. Um, you know, um, natural disasters like the tsunamis, like the hurricane, and the, and most these natural disasters we have in this country is actually human induced, really. So, which means the country and even the earth itself within the country is blessed. Why should all the things we are suffering are basically human induced? And you know, so, I feel that you know, with this ethnicity coming into play again, you can imagine, you can imagine the massa uh, DJ now. From particular, the same particular, it's, 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 it's not, it's crazy, it's not going well, and we keep hearing, you know, it's not almost, almost a normal thing that Nigerians will rant, you know, they are now, they are no more moved, it's not the normal ranting when you are through, but he still remains the DG. Even though we ran to make noise, he still remains the DG. When Nigeria ranted, oh, here do you have issues, you know, they are no, they should review it. Uh, today, the issue of um, Opus Odemassi being the governor of a mistake is still there. It has not been re- revisited. It was not reviewed. It's still there. What did they do? Nigeria just ranted. Nothing changed. So, so to speak, the pres- the governor, the government of the day are used to Nigerians ranting. Very soon they will go and do that to social media, to social media bill. So that the ranting will stop. So that finally Nigeria will not become, it's no longer going to be a republic, but it will now become a kingdom, kingdom of Nigeria ruled by the king. All right, but that's we're going to round it up. What do you think about the issue of the DG Nemasa being replaced by the same particular ethnicity group? governing Nigeria, taking care of the leadership.